look, we already know, biologically, the guys with that symmetrical faces are the guys that are attractive. And what I'm here to tell you is without surgery, I can make your face look more symmetrical. Let me prove it to you. One, grow a beard. Look, this is the most obvious one. You knew it was coming, but that's because it's the most effective one. Look at the guy, for example, Dan Bozerian. The dude without a beard looks like a naked mole rat. As soon as you put a beard on, he grows it so thick that he chisels that thing so he looks like Giga Chad. And to be fair, you don't need to grow it that big. Even with the five o'clock shadow, you can do the same and you can use tools to make it look bigger. I'm gonna give you a great example with myself. If you look at my beard, as you can see right here, my left side or my left cheek, not only is it, not only is it thinner or has more patches than my right side, but also the natural line sits lower on my cheek, which can give the illusion of an asymmetry. So I grab my heat grooming beard pen. I like to fill up my line to match up my right side and just look at the difference. Not only does the beard look better, it doesn't look like I just used a beard pen because the cool thing with the beard pen is that it basically makes each hair strand of your beard thicker to fill in that gaping hole, but also now my beard line has the illusion that it's balanced on both sides, adding to my facial symmetry. So I'm telling you, if you can't grow a beard, grow a beard. And if you know, and, and if you don't know how, check out Heat Grooming right now. If you guys click the link down below, you'll see our 24 hour beard kit, which comes with three systems. We have our beard growth system, which is our dermal oiler and beard oil. This will help you grow real hair, scientifically proven. We also have a beard care kit, which you need that to take care of your beard, to nourish it, to brush it, to train it, to make it look as good as possible. And it also comes with our beard pen to help you fill in those gaping holes. I'm trying to make you look as good as possible, so much so that if you guys click the link down below right now, you can check out that whole set, make your beard look godly, and get 50% off. For the next 24 hours, you're gonna look better and it's gonna be affordable. Yo, 50% off, if I were you, I'd click that link down below. Number two, get a lineup. Even if you can't afford a haircut from a barber, go into the shop just for a lineup. Sometimes they'll go for like 10 bucks. You have to understand that your barber is your, is your weekly plastic surgeon. All those straight lines that he works so hard to make sure look level, at add to the illusion of having a symmetrical face. See, what barbers know how to do great is that it doesn't matter what your head shape or asymmetries are, they will make your hairline look straight and balanced on both sides. And when they do that, it's, so, it's similar to when you wear frames. That symmetrical balance design adds to the illusion that your face looks more symmetrical. Number three, sleep on your back. It's crazy, but this has also been scientifically proven. You sleeping on a preferred side is, is adding to your facial asymmetries. The more you sleep on the side, the more you weaken the muscles and skin on that side, deepening how, how much the wrinkles fold or how much the face falls on that side. And if you do it for years, decades, or even more, that side will start taking a toll over the other side. This is why it's recommended overall, by the way, even for your spinal health and for better sleep, to sleep on your back versus sleeping on your side. Number four. Lower your eyebrows. I've always told you, your eyebrows also add to symmetry. Sometimes, for example, mine, my left eyebrow sticks up higher than my right eyebrow. So what I want you to do is grab a pen and then it's almost like you're drawing an invisible line on top of your brows. Anything that goes past that line, you're gonna wanna trim to keep them on a lower set level, which makes you, makes you look more attractive, but also they, it keeps them balanced to make sure your face looks more symmetrical. Number five. Chew more gum. As a matter of fact, I, I was on the other day on the internet and I saw there's actual gum that's harder to chew. Like it's purposely made more difficult to chew. So not only do you get the benefits of chewing gum, but also you get the benefits of working out your jawline muscles. Like any other muscle group, your jawline muscles can also grow as you work them out. The more you chew gum and make sure it's balanced on both sides, the more you can grow your jawline out or at least trim it out so it looks more symmetrical. And ultimately, number six, use SPF. You have to understand that the damage that the sun does to your skin can be irreversible. And, th and this has been proven. There's, there, there's this famous guy that was a truck driver where he got a lot of sunlight from the left side and none on the right side. You look at his face today, it is completely asymmetrical because the damage that it will do to that side of your face will weaken your skin muscles. And even if it's even, the 
at the, the rate at which your muscles and skin weakens will be uneven, therefore making your skin and face look asymmetrical. The more sunblock you use, the more you retain that skin elasticity to make it look as youthful and as symmetrical as possible.